as many of you might be wondering uh, right now, uh, what do you need? What sort of books do you need, or what uh, items do you need to bring uh, to the university, especially for anatomy, as it is one of the main subjects. Um, all I would recommend is get a, a lab coat from the UK. You can get one here as well. It is up to you, really, uh, and get a Gray's Anatomy Atlas. Um, and you can just start practicing the bones of the skull early because that is the first thing that you do. Uh, so you will really be way ahead of everyone else when you do come to the university and you will be ready for first time and you can actually enjoy your time here. So when you first join uh, the university, you will be split into groups of 10 to 12 people. With these uh, people, you will be going to your seminars, which are your practical lessons. Um, these can be in the main uh, university building or in the Hay building, uh, as we know, in the University of Plovdiv. Um, you will also have lectures. Uh, these lectures will uh, include all the students uh, within your year. And you go inside the lecture halls, which are mostly in the main building uh, of the university. Uh, where you will uh, you walk into the lecture hall and the lecturer is there they give you information that you need um, uh, and you can make notes within the lecture what I do recommend is that you make notes on the important points uh, only that way you can uh, focus more on what the lecturer is saying and you only get the important points down then when you when you go home you can find the lectures online anyway uh, and then you can make your proper notes um, and use those when you're revising for your examinations the topics you have uh, in your first term uh, are as follows. You have computer technology, healthcare economics, medical physics, biology, Bulgarian, anatomy, cytology, histology and embryology, which are all combined into one lesson, really. Uh, you have Latin and sports as well. So starting off with uh, computer technology, um, for that you do not have lectures, you only have practical lessons uh, where you go into the practical lesson, you will practice on um, applications like Microsoft Office Word, Excel and PowerPoint and your final exam uh, includes you having to give a presentation uh, from PowerPoint and uh, your coursework that you have done throughout the year will count towards your final grades as well. So for healthcare economics, you will have lectures once a week uh, where you go into the lecture hall, you listen to what the lecturer has to say, you make your notes on it. You will also have some uh, practice lessons where you get um, uh, questions that you can practice for the final examinations. And once you do go into the examination, you will see it's mostly MCQs uh, and you may have some open questions depending on what your teacher has decided um, to give you. But uh, if you've done the practice questions, if you've gone through the lectures and you've made proper notes, you should be all right with those as well. You also have medical physics, which is one of the more important and one of the more tougher subjects uh, within your first semester. For medical physics, you have one uh, lecture a week and one practical uh, lesson a week. Uh, within the lecture, you will go over a topic and then within the practical, you go in more depth in it because in your practical, you are just within your own group of 10 to 12 people, which you have been assigned at the beginning of the year. So you have more of a one-to-one -one interaction with the teacher where you can ask them more questions uh, and uh, get more information. And then the final exam uh, includes uh, open questions, MCQs um, and uh, some drawings as well. So make sure that you understand all the structures that are being labeled within the lessons and within the practical exam. The next subject uh, you have within the university is biology. For biology as well you have uh, one lecture a week and one practical a week. Within the lecture you will go over uh, a certain topic um, uh, but then in your first term for biology you have something called uh, parasitology which is a study of uh, for example tapeworms or other uh, parasites basically uh, and once you learn about them the you will have a practical examination in your first uh, semester for parasitology only uh, if you do pass the practical part of parasitology then you don't have to do it in the final exam at the end of the year but if you don't you can just do it at the uh, final exam at the end of the year the next subject uh, we have is uh, Bulgarian, where you will have a practical lesson uh, once or twice a week, depending on your teachers. Um, and uh, once you've gone through the practical lessons, you interact with the teacher, you learn new words, you practice with your peers. Uh, and then in the final exam, uh, in the first semester at least, all you have to do uh, is a little presentation and you move on to the second semester. One of the most important subjects that you will have at university, um, especially in your first and second years, is anatomy. Uh, within anatomy you have one lecture a week and one uh, practical a week or two practicals a week depending uh, on your teachers. Within lectures you will learn um, the theoretical part of the anatomy of the body. For example, you might label the muscles or the bones of the skull um, uh, in a picture. But then you go into the practicals where you see actual cadavers. The teacher will lay pinpoints for you and then uh, she label them for you and you just go over them over and over again until you've actually learned them. Uh, and then in the first semester, you have a final exam for the uh, anatomy as well, 
where you will be doing, uh, where the teacher will pin points for you and then you have to write down what those points are. As well as that, you will have MCQs and open questions. Another important uh, subject you have, uh, especially in first and second semester, uh, is Latin. Uh, where you have one practical a week and no lectures for it. In the practical lesson, you are with your own group and your teachers right in front of you. Um, you will be writing words on the board, you will be writing words uh, within your notebook uh, and you can practice saying them out loudly uh, and eventually you learn them. And uh, the final exam in the first term, uh, you have, uh, I think, the first and second declensions uh, and once you get through them, which aren't that difficult, uh, you should be fine and you can move on to the second term. Another really important subject, especially within your first term, is cytology, histology and embryology, which is, which is just generally known as cytology. Um, uh, so what you do in cytology, you have one lecture and one practical a week. Within the lecture, you will go over um, the slides, the microscopic slides, uh, and um, the, your teacher, the lecturer, will just label little parts on it for you. And then you go into your practical lessons where you will see the slides in real life underneath the microscope. And you try to label them, you try to understand what the difference is between each slide is. So in the final exam, you can label them. Um, I recommend you try to find specific things that stick out between them because many, many of them will appear really similar at the beginning. But once you actually understand the organelles within them, uh, you will find uh, it is quite simple and easy to understand. And then within the final exam, you have a practical exam where you will uh, look at the slides and label whatever you see within the slides as well as the staining that has been used for them. And you will have your MCQs and your open questions, um, a written exam as well within the lecture hall. And the last and the most fun uh, subject uh, for everybody is uh, sports, which you have once a week uh, practical lesson. You will go into the sports hall and you can choose whatever sports you want to do, like badminton, uh, volleyball, basketball or football. Um, we personally, we chose swimming where we go to the swimming pool nearby uh, once a week uh, with our friends uh, along with the instructor. And the teacher will watch your progress uh, throughout the year and that determines the grade that you get at the end. Summarizing uh, your first semester at the university, um, what you need to do at the end of your semester is you take your red book which has your name in it and uh, you, end, you write in the names of every single subject that, you've ha that you have had uh, in your first term. Then your practical teacher will sign uh, on your red book and then your, your lecturer will sign in your red book and then you go to your supervisor who needs to put a stamp on your red book before you can see any exams so make sure that you have done that. Uh, overall, um, when you're revising uh, for your first semester, I would recommend you watch um, YouTube videos um, mainly for anatomy or uh, you can just literally just Google search whatever you need because you can find most of the things uh, on there. And now you've made it through your first term, you've passed all your exams and your colloquiums and you're moving on to the second term. Within the second term, you have uh, four new subjects. Uh, and those four subjects uh, are uh, biophysics, dental materials, uh, prosthetics and chemistry. Uh, so let's, let's begin with um, explaining all the subjects that you have within the second term as well. The subject that you continue on uh, from your first term is uh, the subject of biology but there is a slight difference because now within biology practical you're not learning about parasitology, you're learning about immunology which is more about um, uh, your blood, um, different antigens, um, how your body deals with the uh, incoming pathogens uh, and all of that stuff. So for biology you have uh, lectures again once a week and your practicals uh, once a week within the Hay building uh, where you do learn about immunology. And the final exam because in the second term you have your actual full final exam for biology um, it will be uh, on the lecture uh, and uh, on your practical lessons and everything you've done uh, throughout the entire year involving um, open questions uh, and MCQs. In your first uh, semester, you had medical physics. Now you've passed medical physics, you've had the final exam. Um, in your second semester, the med physics gets replaced by biophysics, uh, which you will have once every two weeks a lecture, and then um, once every two weeks, uh, you'll have a practical as well. Uh, within the lecture, you will do a topic, and then within the practical, you just go into more detail on the topic. You'll practice um, some, uh, some MCQs and get ready uh, for the exam. And then your final exam, uh, which will be at the end of the year, probably around May, June time, uh, you will have um, a written, um, a written exam where you will have, pri where you will have uh, MCQs, um, drawings and open questions. Now in your second semester, finally, uh, you start with all of your proper dental subjects. Um, one of the subjects is dental materials, uh, which you begin in your second semester and you have a lecture once every two weeks 
and a practical lesson uh, once every two weeks as well. Within the lecture you will go over something and in the practical once again you just go over it in more detail. The teacher will ask you questions, um, you might do essays uh, on that topic to just get you ready for the exam which you're going to have next year. Another subject you have in your second uh, semester is prosthetics, which is one of my favorite subjects as well because it is mostly uh, practical based. You do have lectures, uh, so you will go into the lecture, you learn the anatomy of the teeth, you learn um, the morphology uh, of the teeth, what they are used for, um, the, the little structures within the teeth, and then you have your practical lessons. And within the practical lessons, um, you can create soap models like, uh, like this one over here, or um, you will do something like these gypsum models. Um, that we all made as well, which is quite fun because that is a, a proper impression of someone's teeth uh, and you actually you start feeling like a real dentist. Now for prosthetics uh, you will not have a uh, final exam in your first year that will be within your second year but you also have another subject uh, which is of far more importance uh, called anatomy at least in your first year uh, and in anatomy you have lectures once a week uh, and you have practical uh, practicals once again twice a week um, one is, for example, on Thursday and the next will be on Friday, allowing you to practice everything you've learned on the previous day, on the next day, uh, to get you ready for the exam. Uh, and at the end of your uh, second semester, uh, you also have another colloquium for anatomy. Um, the whole point of these colloquiums is that um, they give you a chance to get an exemption from the final exam. So if you do um, get, for example, above 90% in the colloquium, in the final exam, you won't have to do that section. So that saves you a lot of time, uh, especially in your summer holidays, where, whereas everyone else will be revising, trying hard to pass the exam. You can just relax and uh, know that you have been exempt. You'll also have Latin, uh, which you continue on from your uh, first semester. Uh, but in your second semester, you have your final exam for Latin, which includes all of the declensions, uh, the first, second, third, fourth and fifth declension and some Greek words uh, as well. So you need to make sure that you're on Latin, you've studied it uh, and you're ready for the exam as well. You will also have um, the Bulgarian subject, uh, which is really important because um, the main reason why we focus so much on Bulgarian and why we have it three times a week is because you need to make sure that you understand the language that you're going to be speaking with your future patients, at least while you're living in the country of Bulgaria. As in upper years, you are going to be speaking with many patients. And just knowing the language, it helps speak with patients. You can speak to your landlord better. You can make Bulgarian friends anywhere you go outside. Um, you can just interact with people and it is an amazing feeling. So you need to make sure that you focus on Bulgarian, even though it might be one of the easiest subjects. And now the subject that I personally, uh, that I personally found um, the most difficult, um, chemistry. You have chemistry in your second semester, which is a new subject and is newly introduced. You will have one lecture a week and you will have one practical a week as well. The practical is within the Hay building and you just go more into depth and you have a more one-in-one -in -one interaction with your teacher um, uh, on the same topic as you did in the lecture so you can just understand it more. Um, I would recommend uh, if you are coming from the UK um, you could if you wanted to bring your notes um, for chemistry that you've had at A level like pH calculations, uh, buffers, all those sorts of things. So when you come here you could just go over them as a good revision uh, for your final exam because your final exam uh, will have a, a written section uh, which is everything from your lecture and your practical. Uh, you have open questions, you have MCQs, um, you'll have drawing structures and then after that you have a very thorough oral exam as well um, which could be anywhere from 10 minutes to 30 minutes uh, depending on how well you're answering the questions uh, from your teacher. You'll also have sports which you have con continued on from your first semester. One practical a week, uh, you can choose whatever um, you want. For example, we chose swimming once again. Uh, we would go to a nearby place, you just swim around with your friends uh, and um, you learn some new skills. Uh, for example, I learned how to swim backwards. I could never do that before. Uh, and now thanks to the help of the, our professor who was teaching, our practical professor who was teaching us how to, how to swim, um, I've learned that and um, yeah, it's been really fun. Regarding the timetable for your second semester, for our group personally, we had uh, Latin starting at 7.30 till 9.15. Um, now please note that all of the practicals such as Latin, Bulgarian or any other practicals that you might have, they will be just within your 10 to 12 uh, people, you know, your own groups, um, while the lectures will be within the lecture hall. So for us uh, on Monday, we would start off with Latin uh, from 7.30 to 9.15. Then we would go to the lecture halls uh, for a chemistry lecture from 11.30 to 1.15. And then after that, we would have biology practical uh, within the Hay building uh, from 2 to 3.45. 
On Tuesday, uh, we would start off with a biology lecture in the morning from 9.30 to 11.15. Moving on, every two weeks, uh, we would have uh, the biophysics practical in the Hay Building from 11.30 to 1.15. And then we would ha end the day off with uh, prosthetics from 4 to 5 p.m. Uh, where you would be in the practical. Uh, within the practical, we would do things like carving soaps, for example, that's a canine. As you can see, I mean, incisor. So that's your incisor. Uh, we would do things like that within the practical, which is made out of soaps. Um, so it would be nice practice and you learn about the anatomy of the teeth as well. On Wednesday, um, you would start the day off with um, dental materials practical, which you would have every two weeks um, from 7.30 to 9.15. Uh, and then um, depending on which week, we would have alternating weeks of biophysics uh, and dental materials lectures from 9.30 to 11.15. Then we'd have uh, anatomy lecture from 11.30 to uh, 1.15. And finally, Bulgarian from 2 o'clock to 3.45. And that's the end of your Wednesday. As for Thursday, we would start the day off with uh, chemistry practical from 9.45 to 11.15 and then we would have Bulgarian from uh, 11.30 to 1.15 and then we would have our uh, anatomy practical where we use this book for it uh, from 11.30 to 1.15. On Friday, we would start the day off with a prosthetics lecture which would also be once every two weeks um, from 9.30 to 11.15 and then we would have our anatomy practical once again so everything you learned the previous day you can practice on and you can perfect before the weekend uh, and then we would end the day off with a prosthetics practical uh, once again where you can make soaps, you can make uh, your gypsum models or we would make our, our teeth uh, out of wax as well. And because of the importance um, of making sure that you can understand um, the people around you uh, because you are in Bulgaria, so you need to make sure that you do know Bulgarian, we would have an extra class for Bulgarian on Saturday from uh, 9 a.m. to 12.30 and then you're free to enjoy the rest of your weekend. So the grades you get um, overall at the end of the year for all the examinations you've done, they range from 2 to a 6 and anything 3 or above uh, is considered as a pass. 6 is obviously excellent if you can't get that. I would recommend that you do go for it and um, when you get your results depends on um, your own lecturer uh, and um, the number of people doing the exam so you could get it really soon or you could get it after I don't know, a couple of weeks. If you do unfortunately happen to fail an exam you will be given the chance to reset that exam uh, and aim for a better grade and hopefully pass uh, on your second or third try. Most people do, happen, do just pass uh, on their first or second reset so you shouldn't be too worried about that just make sure that you're putting the effort in and you learn from your mistakes every single time one thing that we did that really helped us out uh, when it came to revising especially for the final exams is um, we had our own little group that we set up we would go to the mall uh, and we would sit together and try to explain uh, the topics to each other test each other on different things um, uh, for example the mcq book we would um, one of us would have a blank mcq book and we would ask each other the questions try to get it correct and then compare it to the one which had the correct answers on it uh, especially because like when you're sitting at home you're by yourself you're not you're in a foreign country so you might get stressed out you might just start feeling homesick but when you're with your friends they support you they help you out um, and they help make um, living in Plovdiv a much more pleasant experience in terms of free time um, you do get um, more time within the first term than you do in the second term uh, and you do get holidays for winter and spring and obviously uh, your summer holidays as well in terms of uh, what you can do within your free time, um, Plovdiv is a very cultural place. So if you are someone who, who likes to go on adventures and likes to explore, um, you can go to the uh, old Roman amphitheater where you can get many pictures or uh, sometimes there are shows going on as well. Like recently, uh, Sting came to the theater uh, and he was singing some songs there as well. Uh, as well as that, you can uh, roam around the entire city. They have an old town here, which has very beautiful uh, buildings around and there's always food um, being sold out on the streets. Uh, as well as you can go on top of the hills that we have uh, within uh, Plovdiv. Uh, one of the most famous hills that everyone knows it for is the uh, Alyosha Hill, which has the Alyosha Monument uh, on top of it. Once you go on top of that, you can see all of Plovdiv in all of its glory. Uh, and uh, it, it is really an amazing view. And um, when it's sunny, you should really go up there uh, and you see that uh, Plovdiv is a really beautiful place to be. So I just wanted to let you know that this was my personal experience of, of Plovdiv. Uh, some of you might find different subjects easier, or different subjects harder, depending on what you're more interested in or just uh, what, which subjects um, you are better at. Uh, if you do have any queries, be sure to leave a comment down below uh, and I'll try get, to get back to you guys. Uh, hopefully I did encourage you guys to come to Plovdiv uh, and um, hopefully you guys enjoy your stay here.